What's up, I'm Triple Shoot. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can run admin commands on your Pal World server. In my previous video, I showed you how to set up a Pal World dedicated server. Whether you own it on Steam or not, it's completely free to host your own dedicated Pal World server. Everything from downloading to configuring and actually running, as well as joining it and getting friends to join it. That's cool and all, but how do we save the server, close it, and run other admin commands? Currently, the command list is very limited, but actually pretty simple to interact with. You can't type directly into the console. Instead, you need to be connected to your server or using a third-party Archon tool, but we'll get there later. For now, connecting to your server and running commands. There's multiple ways I showed on how to set up your PalPal server, but I'll be using this one here that's already configured with everything necessary. So all I need to do is just run it. Now, just a quick note, you'll need to know your admin password for your server. In order to get it, it's pretty simple. If you installed it on Steam, right-click, hover over Manage, and choose Browse Local Files. Otherwise, open up the folder where your server is installed, followed by Steam Apps Common PAL Server. In here, we need to go to the configuration file. You've already copied this file's contents here, which was all of this, to PAL Saved Config Windows Server, followed by PAL World Settings.ini. As such, then you've also edited the server name, password, etc. Assuming you've set an admin password, which you definitely should have, and it should be a bit more secure than this, you're able to run commands remotely. Just keep this password in mind and fire up your PAL world game. I'll close, head across to join multiplayer and join my server locally at the very bottom. Once we've confirmed and joined it, you can open up chat by hitting enter. And in here you can obviously chat, but what we want to do is run slash admin password capital A, capital P, space, followed by your password. In my case, it was ASDF9876. I'll hit enter, and if you see this, then your server isn't configured properly. If you'd like to see a guide on how to fix that, check the description down below for a server setup guide. Essentially, my admin password wasn't set, so now that I have, I can run slash admin password, followed by same password, and this time, we should now be admin. Sweet. Let's run through the commands that are currently available to us. You'll find a link to this in the description down below. And not to mention, this will obviously change in the future as more commands are added. It's still very close to original release. These are the commands here. Shutdown, followed by optionally seconds and message text. Do exit. Both of these over here tell your server to quit. That's it. Just before running these commands, however, you should run slash save in order to save all of your progress on your server before closing it. Then slash info shows info about the server server, so just like that, it tells us what version we're running as well as the server's name. If we run slash show players, it'll tell us a list of all of the players in the server as well as their unique Steam IDs if you'd like to look them up or use them elsewhere. Then slash teleport to me and teleport to player followed by a Steam ID is the easiest way to directly travel straight to someone. You'll need admin for this though. Also, not to mention, getting Steam IDs may be a bit of a hassle, especially if you want to kick or ban a player very quickly. It's a bit of a pain to type out these numbers, but at least you can find them on screen pretty easily. If you have them on Steam or know where to find them, you can use a site such as steamid.uk to paste in their profile address here or here and look them up where you can very easily get their Steam IDs. Then finally, slash broadcast allows us to send a message to the server. So slash broadcast, this is a test, and it appears on your screen in the chat box as such. It's a bit more official than just typing in global chat with your name. Instead, it comes from the system itself, which is very useful, especially if you're using these Archon commands, not while in game. Speaking of, how do we do that? Well, with Archon, we can remotely send commands and things like that, be an admin without even needing the main game installed so we can remotely control our server. You can even do this if it's running on the same computer as we can't type commands directly into the game console. In order to connect to our Archon server, we'll need a program to interact with it. The easiest one I can think of is Archon, a open source project on GitHub. Simply head here in the description down below, click the latest release on the far right, then choose your operating system, in my case, Windows. Download and extract this to a folder such as, let's just call it Archon. So I'll extract it to the folder and we can delete the zip. Now, all you need to do is click the very top, type in CMD and hit enter. Then inside of here, we can type in A, hit tab to type Archon completely, 
and hit enter. Then we'll see all the commands and options that we can use with this. In order to connect to your server locally, type in A, hit tab to type in the full Archon name, space, forward slash hyphen, capital H for host. And this will be 127001 if you're hosting it on your local PC, otherwise the IP address of another computer or server. Then hyphen capital P and your server's Archon port, so 25575. Then space hyphen a lowercase p, and this is your server's password. In my case, it's ASDF 976, hit enter, and now we're connected. Sweet, this is our server. All we need to do now is type in something like show players, and we'll see a list of all the players on the server. There's currently nobody. We can run info for info about the server, kick player, etc., etc. Now, the thing about this is that when you type in the show players command, you can highlight players' esteem IDs by dragging around them and right clicking to copy, then you can right click to paste. This makes it much easier to kick players, teleport players, etc. This does make life quite a bit easier. You can also run the save command and the do exit or shut down the commands here as well. That's it. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name is Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.